confident in everything that he does, never having a moment of uh, low self-esteem. He carries out every action with the characteristics of the truth, the justice, the love, the mercy, the forgiveness. All the time, every day, 365 days of the year, 24 hours, and 7 days of the week. All the time, every day. How wonderful to think about that. We know that our earthly fathers cannot do that. And isn't it so reassuring to know that our Heavenly Father is capable of doing that. Then we can look at what we spoke about, in fact, Jehovah um, last week, but there are also other words associated with Jehovah that I'd like to explore. And one is Jehovah Shalom. We know, uh, probably often you've heard, Shalom as meaning peace. So Jehovah Shalom would be the God of peace. And in this case, we're talking about not not just the, the God of peace, but in essence, God is peace. And God being the author of peace, Jehovah Shalom. Also, we know of God as the Prince of Peace, which is Sar Shalom. In Isaiah 9 and 6, you are probably all familiar with scripture. And it says, he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Peace. What does that convey to you? Uh, sense of stillness, tranquility, the absence of conflict, the absence of confusion, the end of wars, uh, where peace brings about no fear, no hostility, no anxiety, no chaos. The peace of God is better than all of those things. Shalom is not just the absence of the bad things, you know, like arguments between people and wars and uh, chaos, hostility, etc. But it represents the very presence of God as peace, as the author of peace. It speaks of good things like joy. It can even speak of complete. Because you know, when you are not feeling complete, you're not feeling at peace. Right? And in this sense, when we say God is peace... He is complete. We can find all of our needs, wants, and provisions in one God who is complete. One God who can erase <clears throat> the bad experiences. One God who, as Isaiah 9 and 6 said, is the Prince of Peace.
piece also describes what our lives were meant to be. I was having a conversation with someone the other day and I I asked uh, this person, I said, um, do you think that our bodies were in the original design uh, created for air pollution? Do you think in our original design were we created for hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes? <clears throat> uh, do you think that we were created, I mean, really, the original design? Now remember, when God created uh, Adam and Eve, he had also created an environment that was rich in all of the necessary elements that they needed to survive. And also keep in mind that they were naked physically as well as, you know, like we talked about spiritually. But they did not have to worry about being scorched by 100 degree temperatures. They also didn't have to worry about freezing in uh, 32 degrees. The atmosphere was all that it needed to be to sustain them. It had the right amount of humidity. It had the right amount of dryness. It had the perfect amount of heat or warmth. No cold, no frigid temperatures. It had the right amount of fruits and vegetables and foods. So our original design was not meant for uh, high quantities of air pollution, water pollution. Uh, it's no wonder that people have so many different illnesses, right? Because the environment that we are living in was not the original design. It was not the way life was meant to be. They, Adam and Eve, did not know pain until they sinned. There was no need for pain because they were already perfect. Their bodies were perfectly formed. Their environment was perfectly formed. Therefore, there would be no antagonists. There would be nothing to go against their bodies, their environment. Shalom, peace, completion. So then, Jehovah Shalom, Prince of Peace, is not just the God of peace, but a God who created peace. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Wow. And then, there is Jehovah Esra. E Z R A H Esra Jehovah Esra The Lord is my helper Psalm 27 and 9 says Do not hide your face from me Do not turn your servant away in anger You have been my helper Do not reject me or forsake me God my Savior, Jehovah Ezra, God, my helper. When we think of helpers, we are very aware in today, the doctors, nurses, therapists, teachers, librarians, and other professionals, uh, financial planners, 
who help us, um, mentors, trainers. We speak now of these people that we call frontline workers, firefighters, police, nurses, doctors, as we said. They're our helper. God is our helper. So, so far we have talked about El Shaddai. We've talked about El. We've talked about Adonai. We've talked about Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Esra, Prince of Peace. And in the upcoming episodes, we will talk about Jehovah Jireh, God my provider. Isn't that awesome? Our provider. And we will examine additional Hebrew names of God and those associating scriptures that we have spoken of um, and that I will bring to your attention. This has been another episode of Basically Biblical where we have been attempting to understand who God is, what God is, and where God is. And I hope that you have enjoyed the episode so far. I want to remind you that every Friday evening at the beginning of the Sabbath, I present the preview, which is usually 30 minutes or less. And then on Saturdays, every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, I present to you the full episode of our study. And also, I'd like to remind you that all of the episodes on Saturdays are live. You can submit your questions or comments through the chat device offered by the podcast carrier that you use. And Basically Biblical is on over seven or eight different podcasts. Just about every podcast carrier that is there, you can find Basically Biblical, as well as on Facebook and in Twitter. So, uh, and of course, you know that when you listen uh, on any one of those devices, you can uh, give your comments and you can also express whether you enjoyed or liked the episode by clicking on the like button. All right, so thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your uh, sharing these episodes. I appreciate your participating in the episodes and I look forward to future studies of God in the future. Let us close with a prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your wisdom. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us more of your character, infusing us with love, justice, mercy, forgiveness, creating in us peace and helping us to further understand your sovereignty, your holiness, and your personality. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.